All right, so we're here over at github.com and uh, what I want to do is create a GitHub page, uh, like a static hosting for this site, even though we have not yet completed everything, but I want to let you be able to see the updates in real time. So that's why I'm deploying it from now. So let's go ahead and create a, a new repo and uh, I'm just gonna call this uh, long, put it in all common letters. I call this a uh, long center. That's what the project name is. And I'm gonna put it in the description. I'm not gonna put uh, anything like that. What I'm going to do is just create the repo, and then we're gonna push uh, some code. And the way that this works is basically, it will be able to. You can view this thing, but it's only for static sites alone. I already have one, which I think is at crash items and I'm gonna change its name eventually I just don't know what to change it to as yet. Uh, I think it's crash item dot uh github dot yeah crash uh no I don't actually know what it is. Let's get up over here and see I'm gonna duplicate it. I don't really know what, what it what it was. But I know it's Fedora services Bank or something like that. So if we come here, go back to the default. I think this may be it. Oh, so I think what it is is, is this here, right here. So it's it's the username at GitHub. Uh, that IO. So that's what it is, and this was uh like this was a final project that I that I did, and this was view, uh just the same. So you can see the view is picking up up here. So this was just a a, a project as minor project that I did uh earlier when I just started using uh Vue.js. So I just deployed it on here and left it uh up here just like that. That's pretty much it. So we have our repo created. Uh, the funny thing, I don't think you'll be able to see this just yet because it takes a while to load up. You may have to pause the video and then uh, pause the recording and get back to it to just to show you that it's, it's live. And I'll just leave the link in the description of the, the YouTube video. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to get over here. Uh, I want to show the folder structure and but it was giving some issues the last time with the audio. I'm not sure if it'll work now, but what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna uh CD into into this folder here. So it's a C drive and we should go in users, user, and then we're gonna go to download, uh, and then we're going to go to uh exam slash exam slash uh Docs slash view project project slash uh, long center. So this is where we want to go. And uh, if we should do an ls, we should see that we have the node modules, the, the uh, package at JSON, the lot the public function, uh, public folder, and all of those. So if we should uh, see the, I'm not even gonna see into this because it's a waste of time. So to look at for the the node models, you really don't have to worry about this. These are just installed uh packages that are used to run the the project, the view or whatever. Uh for the public, this is where we have the index at HTML, this is where everything is loaded on, and we only have one uh HTML uh whole uh file, which is where uh, everything will be loaded up basically because it's a single page application and everything is really being loaded on a single div, which you'll see here. Everything is being loaded right. So it's a bunch of pages, just one page, and everything is being loaded there. Uh, let's see here. In here, this is where we do most of the work uh, with the assets folder where we have the static files like images and uh, CSS files that's, where, that was, that's what we keep in here 
a component is in charge of parts of, of the of your views so these are stuff that you will put in your views uh the router is basically the routes that you will be using so for uh the home page we went on and we'll be looking at in there uh for the store this is where the buex uh happen this is for the state management and stuff like that but we don't have to worry about I'm not sure if we'll be using uh this in this project maybe if i feel like going a little bit advanced and i'll use uh, some state management here and the views these are are like the about page and the home pretty much obvious the views this is what we'll see uh the app file everything is you know, have the, the router view which i think is loading the app and the, not the about and the home page i have the the This is where the, the, the view in the you remember uh, the div uh, is being mounted on that div. So if you come back here, you'll see the go right to application. So yeah, that's pretty much it. We don't have to worry about these files, we just pull some packages that we, we need. Uh but we really don't have to worry about those right now. Uh so let's head over back to here and then we're to make to get this the, the the page to be deployable we we're not going to just push this to the website what we're going to do is we're going to build it first so the command that we use is uh npm run build and that you you'll probably see that in uh, the package that JSON files as we go so we have this build function that we project and the serve is the one that, that we use in the last video to run the project. So if we say npm run build, then we're gonna have to wait and then it will start to load and we'll see everything uh when it builds. Now we should get a disk file here. All right, so all of the files have been built and all of them are, are pushed to the uh, the disk folder. So I'm just going to, you know, and I, it's here. So I could just reopen this. And uh, so well, we, when we reopen this thing, we should be a disk folder. And that's where we'll be able to, to this that we're going to deploy. So what I'm going to do is just use the terminal and PD into this and uh, if we should do an ls now and list out all the folder all we have is some CSS we have a CSS folder uh favicon the index and uh java javascript file folder and image folder and these you don't really have to worry about them because if you can't read them they are compressed per se if I should open in the, the CSS file, which should be simple. Uh, but this one is kind of simple. But you can see it's really, really long. And that's just how it looks. But I can open, uh, let's say I open one of the JavaScript files. You can't read anything that's here, but everything is, is compressed. It's taking some time to actually look. small everything is really compressed down so we don't really have to worry about that but we just know that it makes it's make the, it makes everything work and that is all that we need to know so to get this thing committed to our github i think i already logged in so everything um, seems to, to get up already so uh the first thing i would normally do is we'll just run a, a git init and I think it's already initialized so that you see the, the master here. And uh, when that is done, so we are initializing it. 
uh, you can come over here and see the instructions and we're gonna add some files and stuff like that. So I'm going to add and see git uh, add and I'm going to add everything. So I'm gonna use a dot here to add everything into that's in uh, the disk folder. It's giving me some warrant or whatever. And now I'm gonna be a little bit lazy and just uh, copy all these. What I'm going to do is just copy these and uh, paste it here. And I'm gonna call this uh, long center. That's what name is gonna come up on, on the thing when we look at the, the repo. And here I'm just gonna use this one. So this is gonna push it to to here. Now see everything is uh in the mode the mode is created for everything. Just go ahead and mode mode is created for everything. So let's go ahead and uh, get the remote add this to the, the origin. Then we're going to do finally we're gonna push this to the master origin. And this will push it to, to the master branch. And then when we when we go back to the GitHub, as long as this is pushed correctly, then when we go back to GitHub, we should see uh, all the files and stuff like that. Let me just wait until this thing is pushed. Hi, it's almost finished. Here we go. So if you come here and refresh the page, then we should we should see uh, the files here pushed to, to our GitHub. So you see we have the CSS, the image, the index, and the file icon. Uh, this is import. This is really good to have. So this will be like our description, everything. So I'm just gonna put uh, an almost blank one in here. We're gonna add this. So I'm gonna add this. Nothing. I'm gonna put in it. I'm gonna leave it just like that. And I'm gonna commit this to our project, and you should see one. So when we we can create like a new readme.md file, and then we can put whatever we want in there. But I'm just putting that just to make it look better. Now to host this thing, we have to go to settings, and uh, when we go to settings. Gonna scroll down. I'm not gonna change the name. The name is perfectly fine. Uh, gonna go down to get home pages. So we're gonna change this to the master branch as it's unknown. Then it should be uh, set to to uh, it should be saved now. So we we're not going to be able to see it just yet. Uh, let's go back down here. So this is the link to get there, but if we should go here, we're gonna get a 404 pay, uh, error because it's not uh, fully loaded as yet. So we're just gonna wait for some time before this thing is actually loaded. So I think I'm either going to finish the video here, I'm just gonna pause, pause it until until then, and I just pick up back. But uh, that's pretty much it to push a side here. So I'm just gonna pause it, pause the video until then. All right, so after what feels like uh, forever, I decided that I'll come over to my other browser and uh, type paste that URL there. I refreshed it or whatever. I saw that the name uh, was set. So you can see the, the long center. But what I, what I actually did was that I, I went ahead and edited the, the index file. So it doesn't really normally look like this. It will be like in one straight line. So I just, because I just went around and messed with it. And I changed the thing here. It was all common letters with this here. And I changed it. And I realized that it is now uh, showing up here, but the page is still not working but it's almost loaded not sure if i'm going to wait until then 
I guess we can see the difference later on and I'll just leave the links so you'll be able to see. So that's pretty much the end of this video. Thanks for watching.